podcast. We have uh, Sean Snyder. Do you have good questions? Sean, they're probably heads spinning around and KU fans and K-State fans yesterday with the news that you were going to be part of the staff. Why did it make sense for you? Why, why is this a good fit? Well, um, you know, it, finishing up at Illinois and then <clears throat> so when I got back uh, to Kansas, so matter of fact, back home and, and spent time with my kids, helped my daughter and stuff. And uh, last year, uh, before going to Illinois, Colin had called me up and we had some brief conversation. And, and I, you know, I was in a position at that point in time that I didn't want um, to be in an off the field position. And so we had some previous conversations. Um, obviously I followed uh, this program last year a little bit more than I would normally have because it was, uh, uh, there was some interest there from Colin and from Coach Leifold. And so once we go, go through the season, obviously some good things were taking place here. And then uh, Colin and I talked and got an opportunity to come over here and visit. And uh, really the, my, my time, short visits, um, I say short but long visits with uh, Coach Leifold were really good. Um, the opportunity uh, to come in and for, for myself to be in a position now where, um, you know, I'm at back a long time ago when I was DFO at K-State and was uh, had a lot of, of oversight with things. Now I get an opportunity to be underneath another coach. The coach is doing really, really well, uh, has a great mind, really, really thinks outside the box with a lot of things. And it'd be a great opportunity for me to come step in and, and learn some things as well. So I, to me, I think for both of us, we we both see advantages of it, and, and I think there's a great opportunity there. You had discussions with your dad, not that you need a, a, approval from him, but uh, the fact you know you have a resume, uh, having coached for, for a long time. What were your thoughts uh, from from dad? Oh, you know, he and I talked about it, and he's you know he wants to see me coaching, doing what I want to do, and um, you know he's happy for me, and you know I, I'm he's. You know, looking forward to whatever comes out of it. So, I mean, it's been it's been really good. He's been, uh, as you would know, I mean, he's been very very supportive of everything I've done from USC to, to Illinois to to here to you know whatever the next move becomes. You know, if it's if it stays here, great. And if it's if it's somewhere else, it's somewhere else. So, I you know, I was blessed for 30 years um, to be in one place, and so I was not on the coaching carousel that all these other coaches have had to go through and. Um, and now it's my turn to do that. So now I'm kind of roaming around a little bit, and um, and I've enjoyed each stop. Each stop has been good. Um, it uh, it's easy for my wife and I to get to navigate it, and uh, so yeah, I've I've learned at each each place. I I pick up as much knowledge as I can, and I pass on as much as I can as well. So it uh, it's been good. G given your past down the road, was, was there any pause to, to coming over here for you, or? or Oh no, no. I <clears throat> so um, when you know when everything changed over at K State and, and Coach Kleiman had a, a path he wanted to go and uh, and it's all his right and I wasn't wasn't involved in that. And so um, you know once I left and, and once I was gone, I to me any job uh, if, it, if it's the right fit is a good job. And so for me, I I was dead set on I want to work for good people. And I, I want to be in a place where uh, everybody's marching the, in the same path, in the same direction, and everybody's got it hands on deck. And and uh, and that's how it was for us, you know, back when when Dad and I were back in K State. And so I've tried to tried to be able to get in the positions to where I'm working for good people. Coach Helton was a great uh, head coach. I, I enjoyed working for him. Uh, coach Bilma at Illinois I really enjoyed working for him there as well. Uh, and the coaching staffs were good, and this, this along with what was asked earlier, I mean, that's part of this thing. I mean, it's a there's good people here, and so it, that makes that makes this job fun. What what do you have? What have you learned to like most about Lance in your short time around him and with him and talking to him? Well, I mean, I like a lot of the things that that he talks about. You know, that that I, in all honesty are kind of lost a little bit more and more in football. And talks about loyalty and and. Um, and commitment and, and you know being right by people and and those things are important you know having integrity and uh, uh, you know I mean a lot of coaches and everybody talks about it you know a lot of them don't you know walk it so uh, I say a lot of them so, some don't um, but you know that's what I look for that's that's what I'm looking for when I'm trying to get around uh, a staff you know I want to be around people that that have loyalty and have integrity and 
uh, and especially with these kids these days, you know, you, you want to be around people that treat them right as well, too. And that's really important. Coach, uh, Lightfoot mentioned uh, the experience that you might be able to bring to the staff in terms of developing plans for in-state recruiting, which is obviously something that you've seen uh, the impact that, that can have over long term when it's done correctly. Could you, you know, offer some thoughts about that side of things in terms of helping Kansas improve its uh, in-state recruiting efforts? Well, I, I've been here less than 24 hours, so I don't even know in general, so yeah, yeah, where, where things are at. But philosophically, I mean, it's about relationships, you know, and, that, and that's the key thing is that, you know, every coach, whether you're high school coach, college coach, you know, a pro coach, is, it, you're developing relationships with people. And I think, you know, the big thing in recruiting is having those relationships with, with the coaches, uh, making them feel like they're a part of this, and, uh, and that's really important, you know, I mean, uh, you you know it just as well as I do. I mean, if you feel a part of something, you feel like you're welcome. You want to be more engaged in it, uh, and you want to be able to support it more. I think that's that's an important part of it. In your discussions with Lance, what were some of the things that he said that he wanted from you in, in this role and learning from you? Well, we I mean we've just caught, talked about a lot of general things, and I'm sure he addressed that uh, earlier in here. Um, but but I think as we go and as we move forward. Uh, and again, I've been here less than 24 hours, so I don't know. I mean, I've watched some film. I've watched some uh, games from last year, so I don't know what all is in place, what's not. Um, you know, and, and as we go through it, we'll share. Um, we'll share a, lot, share a lot of thoughts back and forth. And so I think the my experiences of being involved with a program that's that's getting off the ground, just getting started and then um, sustaining those successes that Dad did with, with K-State. You know, I think a lot of the things that took place through those years and me being uh, director of football operations and, and how we carried things through, uh, obviously um, with all the other stuff that surrounds that, um, I, I think there's just gonna be a lot of, as we kind of navigate through the waters and see where the path goes and the direction goes, that's where that's where the feedback between the two of us will take place. And so I don't, don't know where that's gonna lead, you know? And you mentioned being here for only 24 hours, but what's kind of been your first impression being out of practice around the facility? Uh, it's, it's good. I mean, it, the, the practice is well organized. It's a great tempo. Um, you know, the kids are engaged. I mean, there's there's a lot of – the coaches do a great job. I mean, the coaches are really engaged with the players, um, do a, a good job. They're coaching on the run. A lot of things that I think are really, really important. And uh, uh, so positively, I mean, there's a lot of good positive things. I. Can I tell you there's anything negative I've seen yet? No, but I'm, I'm looking at all the positive things and that's, you know, that's where we start. How much, so. e how much easier is this transition with Colin being here for you? Well, the best part about that is that Colin is able to get me to the best restaurants as quick as possible. <laughs> so uh, we started off last night with a good one. And so, um, but uh, no, it, it'll be, it'll, it'll help the transition be easy. Um, and, and again, with the coaching staff and I mean, these guys are great. They've, you know, they've welcomed me in. It's been, uh, it's been real easy um, to get going. I, you know, it's just to get in a routine, you know, knowing what the, what the schedule is going to be like, the system. Um, and it's going to be short because we don't have much left to spring ball. Um, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, it'll be it'll be pretty easy. You know, the hardest part is going to be getting to, getting to meet everybody and getting all the players, you know, names and faces down. And but we'll get that done pretty quick as well. So, what what kind of reaction or feedback or whatever you want to call it did you get from friends, people around the country, people in the industry? I mean, have you had much of that yet? <laughs> Yeah, I know I, it's been out there. I've had you. a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> no, it, it it's been really good. I have had um, just about every uh, every former specialist that I've coached has messaged, messaged me. Um, a lot of the players that I've coached in the past from USC, Illinois, and K State, mm -hmm. you know, have sent me messages. Um, and obviously, a lot of the people that I know and uh, have sent messages. I, I mean, last night I think I I stopped counting about 125, but I had responded back to somewhere around 130 140 text messages yeah. yesterday so um it's been really positive um with everybody that i actually know yeah so yeah. yeah you had to know some of that was coming too right i mean the, yeah the splash if you will oh, yeah. Yeah. What, what'd you do to prepare yourself for that turn off turn off your computer or? well i can tell you i haven't looked at too much social media right. so <laughs> i just kind of leave that stuff alone and if somebody's got my phone number uh that's you know that's a, that's the message i want to get yeah so, Sean, with special teams, you had such a long line of success. 
How do you do that for so long? That's a trade secret. I can't share that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, you know, it, it, it really boils down. Uh, it, it's pretty simple um, for me, I think. It, it's building relationships. Um, and, you know, one of the things that I do as a, as a person you know, if I have a strong belief in somebody and, and a great respect for somebody, I'm going to work as hard as I can for them. And I really think with players, I mean, uh, yes, there's schemes and there's other stuff that you, you mix into it, but if the players believe in what they're doing, they believe in you as a coach uh, and you have a great relationship with them uh, and respect, I, they're going to fight and you can get along, get a lot done with guys that are going to fight. And so um, it's just like this program. I mean, they, they, they're fighting. And, uh, Coach Leipold's got them in a good place, and they're fighting offensively, defensively. They're trying to they're trying to do the best they can, and um, I know they're trying to do the best they can too on special teams. But for all the years in the past, that's you know the thing I've really tried to make a strong focal point on is getting to really know the players well and and making sure they understand everything that we're doing really well. So, anything else, Sean?